I made a better corkscrew than what I've done in the past, and I need to make another that I'd like to give to a friend. But first, I gotta make sure this works well enough. I can't believe I found Carlo Rossi in the supermarket here. I used to always drink their sangria, the really sweet stuff that came in the big jug. In fact, I have a friend who used to call me Carlo Rossi just for that reason. Oh, as you can tell, I've got really high taste standards. This is 6 millimeter 1045, and this piece is about 12 inches long. I want to thank Bruce Butcher for his latest donation, and Roger Raitan for becoming my newest Patreon supporter. I likely wouldn't be doing this without the support of folks like this. Thanks. Although this is only 6mm round, drawing it out is a bit of a chore because it cools so quickly. You want to draw it out pretty thinly to maybe about 3mm for the screw turns. I'm not always active or very visible on YouTube channels that I enjoy, but I am lurking about looking at this and looking at that. I struggled making a corkscrew, and so I checked out Mark Asprey's channel, and I really liked the way that he used the step of his anvil to hit from three sides at once. So I don't have a step, but this V-Swage will accomplish the same thing. I know there are a lot of factors determining how popular a channel or videos are, and so I want to say a few words about that regarding someone like Mark and his channel. Given his impeccable hammering skills, his channel should be much bigger. In order to be a decent blacksmith, you have to possess hand-eye coordination, and that I definitely have. But I think the people who have the most potential for blacksmithing, people like Mark, are those that can see a few steps ahead, and in the case of reverse engineering, they can also see a few steps back. And that leads me to another thing. I've seen a blacksmithing channel recently which overtly uses sexuality to promote videos, and that channel does very well. I know that sexuality is used to sell everything including toothpaste, but I never thought I'd see cleavage next to hot steel. I'm not being judgmental, it takes all kinds in this world, and that's fine, but it makes me feel disappointed when someone like Mark, who's infinitely more skilled than that person, only gets a fraction of the views that Beaver Cleavage's channel gets. But I guess I shouldn't be one to talk. I once jokingly told my wife I would hire a different bikini model each week to hit on hot steel for five minutes. Now from a financial perspective, that might be genius.
bend is not aesthetically proportional, so I'll redo that. As usual with me, I'm just making up the decorative aspect of this as I go along. Cleaning the heavy scale off the corkscrew turns is a good idea. So that's pleasing enough and should work just fine. The key takeaway is tightening and so increasing the number of corkscrew turns by using a V swage. Thanks for watching, catch you guys next time.